Hello, Joe Chiron with RCT, Remote Certification Training. And today I am going to review the LS500D light source. As you can see here, the light source has six buttons. To turn it on and off the power. We have um, a reference up, which is really the modulation up button, even though it says reference. We have a modulation button. We have a wavelength button. We have a modulation down button, even though it says DB on it. And then we also have a background light button. All right, so I'm gonna turn the unit on. Okay, and you can see it comes up. It shows that it's off. We show the background light is on here. Now, there's an automatic uh, turn off and turn on feature that you can have, like if the unit's idle for 10 minutes or so, uh, it'll turn off and that can be turned on. You can see when I toggle this button here, it comes up in the top of the screen here, toggles on and off and that turns on the automatic shutoff feature. So you're waste, you don't waste your batteries. So now I want to turn the unit actually on. I'll hit my wavelength button here. And you can see now I have 1310 wavelength that I'm shooting. I hit it again and it's 1550. This is a dual wavelength light source. So that's how you toggle back and forth for, and, and you turn it back off. You hit it a third time and it'll turn it back off. So at 1310, I turn it on. Now I have 1310 uh, emanating from the light source. Now if I want to put a modulation on the wavelength also to make sure that I can identify a specific fiber that we're testing, I can hit this button here. And you can see once I do that, you have a 270 hertz modulation that's on that wavelength now. And then I hit it again, it goes to 1K. And then I hit it a third time and it goes to 2K. So there's the different modulations that you can put on these wavelengths. Hit it again and it turns off. I can also accomplish it by these two buttons. They do the same thing. I hit it here and we do 270, 1K, 2K. Turn it off, and then if I hit it here, I go 2K, 1K, and 270 hertz. So you can accomplish modulations by using the modulation button or the up and down arrow uh, modulation buttons. And so what else do we want? Ah, so the other thing that I want to show you is, I'm going to turn this off so I'm not pointing any laser radiation at anybody, is we're going to take the dust cap off. And you can see right now I have a FC or Frank Charlie adapter that on this so I can plug in I can plug directly a FC cable assembly right into this so I can unscrew this off take that off and you can see there's a split sleeve here and this is what does aligning of the ferrule inside with the cable assembly that you are attaching so the unit comes with a spare split sleeve in case you break this one so be careful it also comes with an SC adapter port so I can screw that on, and then I can plug an SC cable assembly in there. Or it also comes with an ST. So I can plug that on, screw that in, and we have an ST. Now we can plug an ST cable assembly in there. So that gives you some options here. So I'll put this guy back on here. And you put your dust cap on. And that's the dual wavelength LS500D light source. Thank you.